Your drywall can get damaged by kids, pets, doorknobs, you name it. But you don't need to ignore that damage. In just a few steps, we'll show you how to repair small, medium, and even larger size damage to get your walls back to normal. Today we're going to cover how to repair holes of several sizes. From small damage like nail holes to medium holes between one and two and a half inches and even larger holes over two and a half inches, like the damage that can be caused by doorknobs. Now there are many different ways to repair drywall. The simple steps we're going through today are just a few of them, but let's start with minor damage. Now if you're repairing nail or screw holes like those left from hanging pictures or small dents or paper tears, just apply a small amount of spackle and sand it when dry. Pop nails are also an easy fix. Now here's what I'm going to use to repair a pop nail. Another nail or drywall screw, a hammer or drill and bits, premixed joint compound, a drywall knife, and a sanding sponge. You'll also need a dust mask and safety glasses. You can also find some extra information on this project in the printable instructions at Lowe's.com slash videos. Now before you begin, make sure the area you're fixing is clean. Also, since the old nail isn't holding anymore, you'll have to re-secure the drywall. If you don't, the nail will just pop out again. Take the new nail or drywall screw and drive it into the stud about one to one and a half inches above the popped nail. Make sure it's indented or dimpled into the face paper of the drywall, but don't drive it in far enough to tear the paper. Now drive and dimple the pop nail as well. For a repair like this, you can use joint compound. Some people call it mud. Or you can use spackle. Spackle is thicker than joint compound and made specifically for repairing only minor damage. For all of our repairs, we'll be using joint compound. I'll also be using a drywall knife to spread the joint compound on the damaged area. Now, when it comes to drywall knives, there are many different types and sizes available. Typically, the larger the area you're repairing, the larger the knife you'll need. And to find the one that's best for your project, ask a low sales associate. You can also find more information in our printable instructions. Now, I'm going to use a small knife for this project. Put a small amount of joint compound on your drywall knife and cover the dimple. Apply a thin coat of compound flush to the surface with no excess on the corners and let it dry for about 24 hours. After the compound dries, use a sanding sponge to level the surface. And here's a tip. You can use sandpaper, but a damp sponge creates less dust than normal sandpaper. If you do use sandpaper, you can use painter's tape to secure a plastic bag under the sanding area to collect the dust as it falls. And just like that, you're done. Make sure you prime the surface before painting. Now for slightly larger holes between one and two and a half inches that have punctured the drywall, the process is a little different. To fix this, I'm going to use premixed joint compound, a compound pan, a drywall knife, a self-adhesive wall patch, a sanding sponge, and drop cloth. You'll also need primer, paint, and painting supplies. Now before you begin, make sure the drywall around the area is clean. Then take one of these self-adhesive drywall patches and center it over the hole. Then scoop up some joint compound with your knife and begin to cover the wall patch and the drywall. Apply the joint compound until the wall patch is completely covered. Remove any excess with the drywall knife. Also, make sure the joint compound is smooth over the patch. After the compound dries, use a sanding sponge to level the surface. Apply another layer over the first layer and allow it to dry. Once your second coat is dried, sand it with a sanding sponge. That should do it. Now just follow up with a coat of primer and paint. All right, now for big holes. To repair large holes, anything over two and a half inches square or in diameter, like damage caused by a doorknob, the steps are, once again, a little different. The tools you might need are joint compound, drywall knives, a compound pan, a scrap piece of drywall, a tape measure, a utility knife, a drywall saw, a hand saw, a pencil, and a sanding sponge. You might also need furring strips, drywall screws, a drill and bits, and a flashlight. First, take a flashlight and look inside the hole to make sure there's no electrical lines or plumbing in the way. 
then measure the damaged area to be repaired. Cut the drywall patch with a utility knife about one inch larger than the measurement you've just taken. Hold the patch over the damaged area and trace around it with a pencil. Cut the drywall along your pencil marks with a drywall saw and remove the damaged section. Now if your drywall patch doesn't attach to an existing stud, you'll need to create a backer using a furring strip or a 1 by 2 and drywall screws. To create your backers, cut your furring strip into two pieces approximately one and a half times the longest side of the patch you're creating. Hold the strip in place behind the area you're repairing. While holding it in place, take your drill and use a drywall screw to attach the top and bottom of the backer, securing it to the drywall. Repeat this process for the other side. Make sure both strips are secure before you move on to the next step. Now take your patch and put it in place. Secure the patch to the studs or your backer boards with drywall screws. Then cover the seams with mesh drywall tape. Now apply a thin coat of joint compound over your repair area. Cover the tape about six inches wide and let it dry 24 hours. Then sand or sponge off any high spots. Apply a thin coat of joint compound over the patched area and feather out a few inches past the last coat of joint compound. Let it dry 24 hours. Sand or sponge the repaired area to a smooth finish. Then you're ready to prime and get your wall back to normal. If the damage was from a door, consider adding a door bumper. You don't have to live with damaged drywall in your house. You've seen us take our damaged walls and in just a few steps, gotten them back to normal. Now, if you want to see other projects that can help you repair or enhance your home's interior, visit Lowe's.com slash videos.